Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast. There's certain songs that I that are so great, and maybe you can understand, maybe you can't. I don't know. Everybody's different, but it's certain songs that I personally hear that are so great that especially if that person has passed away and they're no longer with us. And even if they're here, sometimes that song is so great and it takes me to a nostalgic place that I can't listen to it for a long period of time, a long period of time. And you just happen to be a part of a lot of the records that actually fit into that category. You also happen to fit into the category of working with certain artists that fit into that category like Aaliyah. Now, one thing I can say about you is, I mean, I'm going to give you your flowers while you're here, right? I'm going to be, I'm going to big you up the entire time I'm on here with you um, because I appreciate greatness. I appreciate um, people who contribute the way that you have. But one thing I can't say about you for sure is your versatility. Like all of these songs, all of these records are great records are, you know, um, timeless records, but the versatility, like these are different types of songs. You go to an Aaliyah, how in the world was it the record label? To, was it the, the label or how did that come about? Oh my goodness. And she's not here anymore. Yeah. Oh my was, goodness. My manager, Chris, my manager, Chris Hicks had, had, you know, cultivated that relationship with, uh, with Aaliyah's uncle, uh, Barry Hankerson. And, uh, and, and he put that play, uh, play together. Absolutely. That's how that's how it came to be. And and we did a couple of songs, um, you know, I mean, you I know, the songs you, I don't want and I miss you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, you got to tell whatever you're doing, you have to share some of this with somebody, man, about these hit records, because these, these songs like it's one thing to just get on a podcast or to get on video and just talk about writing these songs. But then it's right. a completely separate thing when you listen to them and it's like, Oh my, who, this is not normal. Like, <laughs> man, this is wow. Wow. So did you ever meet R Kelly? Yeah. Yeah. A couple of times. Yeah. Um, I actually flew up to Chicago a couple of times to go to his house and, and like work on some stuff, you know, for him here. He had brought writers up there. Wait, you you've worked with R. Kelly before? Outside of yeah. the Aaliyah songs? Yeah, outside we went to we went to his house and yeah, I mean the, nothing ever happened with the songs, but yeah, I went to the house and vibed on some stuff. Okay. Um we're not gonna um dwell on R. Kelly very long, I promise. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> I just wanna say, um, you don't have to say anything. I'll say it myself for myself. Um I definitely hope that he gets what he deserves. I do think that he's guilty of everything that he was accused of. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, but outside of that, as far as music is concerned, uh, Jante, I have to say that <laughs> you may disagree. <laughs> I personally, and I'm young, I, I personally feel like uh, he's the, he may be the greatest writer of yeah, all I mean, time. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's for it, for you to be 26 and to phrase it that way, I think is great. Um, you know, because a lot of times, um, you know, um, I, I see a lot of young people <laughs> wanting to connect the two. Like I, I, I agree with everything that you just said. I think you're a, you can, you can say that you appreciate all that he's given to music and still say that, Hey, I'm, I'm not advocating for him to go free. Like Absolutely. You know, what, Absolutely. what he did in his private and personal life. He, you know, he has everything coming to him and, and I'm not advocating, you know, for him on that side, but, you know, just musically, um, you know, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's great. He's, he's, he's been a huge inspiration to, you know, to my writing just from afar. Like I said, I've only, you know, met him in passing and, you know, once, you know, worked at his house. So I can't say that I, you know, know him very well, uh, but just, you know, watching his craft over the years has, um, has inspired me a lot. Just, you know, the craft of it. 